Welcome everybody to this edition of Renegades Reviews. I am the Renegade J.J. Williams, back with another movie review today. The second in my series of Fantastic Four reviews. Today I'm going to review Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. And after I recorded the last show, I re remembered that I mentioned as of that recording, I had received three requests for movie reviews. One for They Live, and two that were going to be upcoming. My sincerest apologies to Emmanuel Dominguez on YouTube, who requested that I do the Fantastic Four to build up to the new movie. I had completely forgotten about that when I mentioned that, so that was four movies I have had requested. Thank you, Emmanuel. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's review of the Fantastic Four. I hope you enjoyed today's review of Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. And let's get down to it. Um, released in 2007, the sequel to the original Fantastic Four brought back the entire original cast and added Doug Jones as the Silver Surfer with the voice of Lawrence Fishburne for the Silver Surfer. The general synopsis of this one is that the Fantastic Four learn that they aren't the only superpowered beings in the universe when they square off against the powerful Silver Surfer and the planet eating Galactus. Alright. There were things about this one that I liked, and there were things about this one that I didn't like. This is definitely the weaker of the two movies, as most sequels are. It's very hard that you. It's very rare that you find a sequel that compares to or excels the original. Very few and far between. What I did like about the sequel is the fact that they brought out the Silver Surfer. Very underrated character in comic books. I'm not even a big comic book geek, but when I heard that the Silver Surfer was going to be in a movie, I marked out. The fact that Lawrence Fishburne was the voice of the Silver Surfer. Again, that, that's like having James Earl Jones as the voice of Darth Vader. You know, it's just a great, powerful voice, yet very soft-spoken. Lawrence Fishburne doesn't get angry or violent in his portrayal of the Silver Surfer. He very calm, very soft-spoken. He gets his point across without yelling. Aside from those things, though, I think it seriously lacked. A lot of the movie spent time and energy focused on the wedding of Reed Richards and Sue Storm, played by Yon Grufford and Jessica Alba, and how many times the wedding had been postponed due to saving the world. I think they even make the joke three, four, five times the charm in the movie. Stan Lee's cameo as himself being rejected as a wedding guest was kind of comical. But other than that, it's like, I think that was a wasted, wasted energy for what could have been a really good movie. If they had spent more time building the Silver Surfer and building Galactus than they had on the wedding, I think it would have been a completely different movie. I think the fact that the team had to work with Victor to try to capture the Silver Surfer was an interesting dynamic while it lasted. However, as good guys, and especially as goody-goody as Reed is supposed to be, they should have known that Victor was going to have ulterior motives. Bottom line on this one is, unless you want to see Jessica Alba in a skin-tight suit for 90 minutes, I'd recommend passing this one. This one, to me, kind of gets down there on um, Elektra and Daredevil status. Like, I would put the original Fantastic Four above those. This one I'd put underneath those. What do you guys think of The Rise of the Silver Surfer? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know. Leave your feedback in the comment box. Hit me up on Twitter 
at R-O-W-J-J Williams. Tweet me the movies you want me to review. Leave them in the comment box here. Request the movie list. By now you know how it works. I will be back tomorrow with the review of the brand new, just released this past Friday, Fantastic Four movie. Hopefully it will be a lot better than The Rise of the Silver Surfer. Even if it's as good as the original one out of these two, I'll be happy. But it's definitely got to be better than Rise of the Silver Surfer. Until tomorrow's review, I am the renegade J.J. Williams, and I will see you next time right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel.